In this Star Wars Dark Forces remaster news update video, I will be sharing with you the release dates of the game, along with some brand new details. But before we do take a look at them, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on the remaster. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video talking about how the game has been delayed from the end of this year to the start of next year. Night Dive, the development team behind this remaster, did not share an exact time frame, but they now have locked it in because in a recent interview with the Atari CEO, Atari owned Night Dive, this CEO said that the game would be releasing in February, but did not provide an actual date within that month. However, the full release date has now been confirmed by Night Dive Studios. It will be releasing on February 28th, 2024. This was the original release day for Dark Forces in 1995. So 29 years later, the remaster is releasing on its release day. That's quite fitting. I can see why they've chosen that date. In terms of platforms, if you aren't aware, it will be releasing on the PC via Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, as well as the Nintendo Switch. A price point has not been made available just yet, which is a bit unfortunate, but as I mentioned in a previous video, you're looking at around $30. I will make a video when that is announced, so stay subscribed for that. When the price is announced, you'll probably be able to actually pre-order this remaster. Currently, you can only wishlist it on Steam. As for new features, the press release from Night Dive did reveal even more details about this remaster. It says that the game will feature 10 weapons and 20 type of enemies. You'll get a maximum of 4K, 120 frames per second on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. However, the PS4 and Xbox One can't do both 4K or 120 frames per second, excluding the Pro model, so I'm not really sure what that's about. There will be advanced 3D rendering, which enables realistic lighting and atmospheric effects, plus modern gamepad support. This actually adds a new weapon wheel, rumble and motion plus gyro controls, which is a real nice touch. It's fantastic to see all of these additions added into basically a one-to-one -one recreation of the first game. There will also be trophies and achievements for the PC version via Steam, PlayStation and on the Xbox. Will you be picking up this remaster on day one? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on this game. And if you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.